This is an experiment using horseflies and their maggots rather than common earthworms. This is what remains of a barrel of oranges and lemons. As you can see, the maggots have reduced it all to a paste. This is the mass examined. Now I pour another five gallons of oranges and lemons into the mass of maggots. After two months, the maggots are consuming those also. I observe birds near the maggot composter. In the dirt around the barrel, the maggots had crawled out of the barrel. The birds came down to eat the maggots. Idea. I like birds in the orchard. The maggots attract birds. How could I increase the number of maggots available for the flocks of birds? Do I cut a hole in the side of the barrel? No the interior would dry out, all the maggots would die. Drill a hole in the barrel, drill a hole small enough for the maggots to crawl out without drying out the interior of the barrel. Minimum loss of moisture, the maggots would squirm out, the birds would come down in flocks. Then I found a plastic barrel in an alley. 50 gallon heavy duty drum, already cut as a trash barrel with holes in the bottom for drainage. Idea, elevate the barrel, fill the barrel with oranges and garbage. In time, the maggots would fall through the bottom to feed birds. How to elevate the barrel? A circle of heavy duty wire fencing with the added benefit of screening out cats. The birds can enter and exit the wire, cats cannot. A double purpose, the maggots would reduce the oranges and lemons to a rich paste of compost. Then the maggots feed the birds. This would also work with chickens, but I don't keep chickens. First, the translucent plastic of the barrel must be protected from the UV of sunlight. I have learned Rust-Oleum enamel lasts for years. After I painted the barrel, I used lengths of rebar to elevate the barrel. I filled the barrel with trashed oranges and orange rinds, and now I wait. 